Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Norgon111, and welcome back to Void Stranger. I glanced at this puzzle, and it looks like it should be straightforward. Because if I kill this guy without picking up any followers, then everybody goes away. And it sure looks to me like there's plenty of tiles to push around in order to try to get some kind of statue on a pressure plate. So that is my plan, and yeah, it seems like I could build to the south and build to the north. Actually, that's where I want the pressure plate to go, and I'll push it from the south. Oh, getting the pressure plate itself is slightly more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but it's actually not too bad, because I can pick it up from here, drop it here, and now all I need to do is be able to walk over there, push this on top, and then get back. Yeah, all right. So that's nice and straightforward. Let's move on to basement 210. After waiting for a moment for some noisy trucks outside to go by. <laughs> all right. Oh, I kind of vaguely remember this one as well. If I could simply walk over here, pick up one thing, and time things such that I can get down here and walk across, things seem fine. And it's very easy to pick up a thing by picking up this one. And does the timing just work for me to try to avoid everybody here? No, the guy to my south is going to cause a problem. Even if I push this off. Oh, that also kills me, by the way. Got it. So I have to maintain those statues existing. And so if those statues stay alive, then I guess I want to try to push it into... You acquired nothing. I can't use my wand. <laughs> and now I hear the trucks beeping outside again. Let me take a moment. So it's a few minutes later, here's the quick update. There is a house, a few houses down the street that apparently is getting a pool installed in their backyard. And so there's like some heavy like digging, moving machines uh, down there. I don't think they're getting picked up too much by the microphone, so I apologize if they are, but I think we're okay to continue. So uh, my goal, I think, is to try to push this statue into this guy and kill him, and then I'll have time to walk across. And so if I want to push this guy into the statue to kill him, I would need to be here now, for example, or on the next turn, which I'm not. Or it would need to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns later. So could I be here seven turns later? Ooh. Or possibly even another cycle after that, depending upon where this guy is going to be. Because in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he'll be in a bad spot. So I think what I want to do is walk around this a few times. And suppose now I went here, here, this guy would be there. I could kill him, sure. But unfortunately, this guy would come and get me. Is there any way I could ever push this down and not have this guy come and get me? And it would involve him being one further to the left when this guy turned around. Is that a thing that happens? Uh, it might be about to happen. Um, but the parody isn't right. Oh, I can change the, no, I can't use my wand. Right. Can't use the wand. <laughs> I was about to pick up and put down blocks in order to get tempos. I could have tempoed against the uh, chest at the start. Oh. That is a thing that only just occurred to me. Yeah, because this is not working here. So let's try this. I'm going to open the chest. I'm going to pick this up. And then... <sighs> let's just try tempoing two moves and just see where that puts us. Okay, so two is definitely wrong. Um, 
And based on that, I think I want to do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try eight. This looks plausible. And so now I'm at a bad timing here. And I can't get away. So eight was still bad. Okay, I'm just gonna try some different numbers. I'm pretty sure one of them's gonna work. I think I just saw something way better, which is if I could pick up the square that's right in front of me now, which would only require one tempo, I think it solves everything. I was trying different number of tempo moves. Oops, I picked up the wrong thing. I'm not picking this up anymore. Which means I don't need to check the chest anymore. Uh, no, I do need to check the chest. No, because that doesn't even cause them to move. Okay, so uh, was it one or two tempo moves? I think it's just one. Yeah, now I can pick this up. Now the top snake is no longer a threat. However, the bottom snake's in the wrong spot. I need the bottom snake to have already made another move, which means I just need one more tempo at the start. So two tempos, and we're there. One, two, come over here, pick this up, push this into you, and then get to the exit. I can't put, wait, what? I have to push both of these guys off, and then I can use my wand to my heart's content. Which means... I'm going to have to get more followers along the way. Okay. Obviously I did not puzzle this out very well at the start. And this doesn't work here. Is it any better if I start on the other side? I don't think it is. How do I time this hullabaloo? I'm not far enough ahead of either of them to get by. And so if I had done this like two-step thing, uh, the two-step thing was when I was picking up another square and wasting another so what if I do a three-step thing? Uh, no, everything's completely wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing. If I do four? Uh, that's not even close to right. How am I going to push that statue off? Suppose I do two, and two is too short to go through there. If I just do one and try to come this way, I can't get in front of these snakes and there's nowhere to go. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enables me to push the statue off and get by the snake. Now the question is how many tempos do I need to take to get over here and be able to push this off? And I'm gonna have two followers? It seems impossible for there ever to be enough time with two followers to push this off, I'm gonna be on these two squares for one, when I step on, two when I push it off, three when I go here, four when I go here, I still have two followers, like five times in a row, like I'm gonna be on here and this guy, I guess if he had just vacated, so when will this guy have just vacated this? In one, two, three, four, five, from five to six moves from now, but it's gonna take me one, two, three, four, five to be ready. So I need him to be 10 moves from now, which would be facing up over here, facing up here, facing up here, facing up here, facing down here. So let's pause here until he's facing down there. And then I can just tell that this guy is now going to be in the way. So I'm going to just wait another cycle until he is down at the bottom again, facing down. Now I'm going to go. I did not time it correctly. I was multiple steps ahead of where I needed to be. But now I have kind of a basis for what I'm trying to do to see if it works out at all. 
And so this time I'm going to have him be facing down there, I think. So facing down just above the statue, the guy in the rightmost column. Now I just sneak behind him, push this off, but I don't have time. So it's impossible to do with two followers that way, which means I have to push the rightmost statue first, I believe. And so if I want to do that, how's the timing going to work out for that? I guess basically exactly what I just did, which is I want him to be facing down right there. That's fine. So if I go over here, I can sneak in behind you, push this off, and get out of here. Great. So now the question is how I do this one. And I only have to worry about the top snake. And there was a timing that worked out. I just don't happen to know what it is off the top of my head. Let's imagine it is this. So when the snake is facing right on the right edge, It worked. Um, I have not yet picked up a floor tile, which I'm going to need. And then can I get down to where I need to place it? Uh, almost. I have two followers now. So in order to get... Uh, I just killed myself. In order to get by with two followers, I would need to be here just at... No, I need to come, I need to come this way. Mm. That's impossible. Because the only way to be here... I can use my wand as much as I want. I was thinking I had to get to the exit this way. But that's no longer true. Now I can use the wand as much as I want. And so I need to find a different way to the exit. Got it? Okay. Uh, it took me a long time to get there, but I think I know what I'm doing now. So I'm going to pause until you are sitting right there, rightmost leech guy. Then I'm going to push this statue off. Then I'm going to pause until you're facing rightmost snake guy. Then I'm going to push this statue off. Then I'm going to get my... Little buns safe. And then consider my options. Right, I can cut off snakes, for example. Which is pretty great. Could I cut off the other snake? And if so, would that enable me to do all the things I need to do? I believe yes. So I want to put down a block. Then go sneak up on other snake. Uh, I'm not really in a position to sneak up on him there now. Uh, can I escape from what I've just done? I don't know that I can. Okay, so I didn't plan this part well, but I am fairly certain everything is solvable now. So, let me do the first part again. So I think it might be better if I could trap this snake the other way, like this. So now he's stuck on just that one tile. And with him stuck on just that one tile, it feels like I will have more options. If I go here, and I put this down, it'll turn around, and then I still have two followers afterwards, I won't be able to escape. Uh, rats, I've already killed myself. Um, Okay, so it seems like what I really need to do is trap the southmost snake, because he's actually the biggest danger. Or is there another way that I could get to the exit? There might be another way to get to the exit as well. I will consider both options. So suppose I do still trap the snake here, because it's convenient for me. Can I then continue walking around up here until I figure out a better plan? Yes. And so how could a better plan work? It could grab a piece of tiling and put it down and grab a different piece of tiling and put it down in a different spot and I can start building past the snake. Maybe. 
Yeah, because I can do this. That's quite flexible. And so now I should be able to build into a position where I can trap the southmost snake and then have free reign of all of the stuff and the things. So I just gave the southmost snake more room to hang himself with. Let's be careful with the timing here. Uh, is this what I want to do? No. I just have to trap the smouthmost stake right now, is what I need to do. Okay, let me put this down. Change of plan. I want to do this. Now both snakes are out of the way and I can get to the exit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Took me many iterations of changing plans to get to the solution, but I did finally find one. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. I think we're nearing the end, or the end of something anyway. Okay, so I cannot use my wand more than three times. This eventually needs to be pushed off. Everybody needs to die. Everybody currently is just five monster mouths. This looks very similar to a puzzle I have done before. Uh, except that this time I cannot use my wand nearly so much. So the question becomes, is it possible for me to kill all the monster mouths without gaining any followers. If so, all the statues will disappear and everything's hunky-dory. This guy looks like he's definitely going to be a problem. And actually there's an order thing. If I kill all of the rest, if I were to step on here, no, it's fine. I could press this statue. I'd still be standing here, so I wouldn't have a follower yet. And if this guy died, then all these guys would be dead. So I think I could probably pull this off if I can kill the other four. And killing the other four... So I'm trying to work out how to kill any of them. I think I see this as a way to kill that guy. It will also kill this guy when I eventually come over here to push this statue. So these guys are basically taken care of at this point. So now it's just these guys. I can put down and pick up, so I can create one more hole. And so, for example, I could put a piece of tiling down and then pick up this one, for example. This guy is a real problem, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to kill him. Actually, if I just pick up this, then I could walk south of him and he would be dead. And so then this guy would be my only problem. But he still is a problem. Because I wouldn't be able to use my wand anymore to create any more holes. I couldn't get him north enough to get here. Oh, I can just kill him right now. Okay, so I think I see the whole solution. So I think I can do this. Kill you that way. Do this. I can't use my left hand anymore. Kill you that way. Go here, that kills you. Push this, that kills you. And now I can get to the exit. And it doesn't matter how many followers I accumulate at this point. Ah, uh, crap. It does? No, it still doesn't. Because I can push this statue out of the way without pushing it off, so I don't get attacked by the remaining mustaches, and get to the exit. All right, great. Um, I can use my wand as much as I want. So all I need to do is get that guy to where I am effectively. Okay, this seems also straightforward. It's mostly about managing to pick up some more tiles and get them in useful places. How many tiles do I think I need? I'm not sure. And I'm going to eventually... Yeah, I've not ordered this well. Let's leave this here. Uh, this exit's in a really awful spot. So let's change it. Hey, exit. Why don't you... Oops! Why don't you go down here? I'll come back for you in a moment. I'm back for you, exit. Don't worry. Okay. 
And now I just need to build over to him. Do I have enough tiles to build over to him? Uh, looks like I'm currently one short. So could I have moved both of these things over one? Probably. So imagine... Let's just put that there for a second. Get rid of this tile. Put this here. Put this here. So that's where we're eventually going. Yeah, this looks good. And now he'll be one step behind me? Yeah. Alright, I did the thing. I remember this puzzle. This piece of glass is new, I think. I eventually solved it by having a very long train of followers. Which seems like it will still work. I can't use my wand at all, so tie left hand behind back. And I should give myself the flexibility... No, I won't have any flexibility to step over glass. So let's go ahead and break it right now. Uh, because if I step over it later, I'll have followers and regrets. So, I just want to pick up a lot of followers. How many followers? Let's start with this many and just get a sense of how many I've got. Okay, I still need a bunch more. So I'll pick up three more here, and six more here, and then we'll try it again. So now if I'm just going around in a circle, uh, I have too many, but there are some empty spaces that I can traverse that won't pick up new followers, and so hopefully this will even out. And so if I do this now, Oh, uh, hmm. I've got too many followers now, I think. Because I have enough followers to cover all the things, but I gain the followers at the wrong timing. Uh, I'm unsure if this is recoverable or not. Yeah, it's not, because now I just crashed into this guy. So what I should have done... I want to gain my last follower near the upper right, I think is what I'm witnessing here. So let's get enough followers to be dangerous. And then let's try not to gain any more until we know how many we need to gain. How many do I need to gain? Well, I actually gained too many already. Oops. <laughs> um, okay, but I just needed to gain two fewer than I just did. So, I don't know exactly how many I did, but I bet you I could get two fewer without too much trouble. Okay, I am very many fewer right now. How many fewer? I'd like to be here, and then I'd like to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus I'm going to take three more steps, like 10, 11, 12 or something. 12 followers. Uh, so let's gain 12 more followers, and then after I gain those, end up on the bottom right tile. So there's two more, four more, six more, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I, I'm a dummy and I cut myself off. <laughs> <sighs> I might have gotten it correct here. Let's see. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Just did some recounting. Um, what's the issue here? Is there a pressure plate? Yes, he is standing on a pressure plate. And so if I move him, then the pressure plate goes away. Got it. And it looks like I would need to get over here to the left. Oh, and those things are on pressure plates, too. And also, okay, I didn't realize that there's mustache statues. There's four of them, I guess. And also, he can't die statues, right. Okay, so... Uh, why can I not just pick this up... ...and go here? And it's because... Right, he is no longer in the right spot. But... I could pick this up, but now I can't ever go north-south again. So 
so there's nowhere to put this down. Okay. I don't quite understand this puzzle at all yet. If I were to start by going down and then up, then I can't ever put this back down because I've already gotten rid of two mustaches, so that doesn't work. Suppose he pushes everything off. Then I have free reign of my wand, and I just build my own way over here and bring some followers along and then create enough followers that I can do everything? That seems plausible. So, is it possible for him to kill everything? Well, there is one. There's another. Uh, if I go right, what happens here? I punch the wall. Alright, that seems good. Oh, I can't go up and down, though. <laughs> I was just looking at him, trying to figure out how to punch off the statues. Um... Okay, so I can go down. I can go up. I can go right. I needed to go left first, so then, then after I was going right, I could go up and down? That seems plausible, so let's try that for a second. So, go down, go up. Go left just to get him to punch. Go right, that also just gets him to punch. And I still need him to push off statues, and I don't know how to make that happen. Is it possible that I can go right twice to walk him over here? I wanted to pick up my thingy at the beginning, though. Hold on. So suppose I pick this up, go right twice, now go left, left, put this down. Ah, uh, no, we're still... He's not back-centered, and he's not going to be back-centered. Yeah, I feel like I need to build my way over here, which means getting rid of four statues. And I don't know how I can use him to do that. Okay, I might have found something. So if I go down here, I'm not sure. No, I don't want to pick this up, actually. Hold on. Okay. So if I get rid of my left hand, if I go down here, then go back up. He's pushed off those. Then I need to go right, right, left, left, right. There we go. And now I can go down and push that off. And I can go up and push that off. And now I have access to my wand. And furthermore, I'm pretty sure he's now a liability rather than an asset. I'm going to have more pressure plates to have to deal with, but that's fine. So, I have access to a wand. I eventually want to come back for those follower summoning tiles. But for now, I just need to build my way over here with a bunch of good tiles. Okay. So I've done that. Now I also want to get the follower tiles somewhere over here as well. And how do I eventually want things to look? It seems like, ideally, I would probably have things laid out something like this. So I could just kind of go in a row. That seems pretty good. And then, eventually, I'd want to have the followers somewhere in here, too. Uh, we'll figure that out in a moment. Let's just go gain access to those tiles. And I'm pretty sure... Actually, let me leave that one there and take this one. And so, yeah, this feels like it'll work. And so then I could also take this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an idea. I can picture it in my brain. So it seems that I can just walk in a little loop now. And there's two followers, which is not enough. But now here's four followers, and that is enough. And I have reached the exit. Basement 215, baby.
Oh yeah. I remember this. There's probably a follower tile underneath a statue or something. Or maybe I have to bring one. Let's just go take a look. Okay, now that guy's just gonna try to kill me. So let's prevent that from happening. And so if I were to gain a follower, then you would no longer follow me. Because you can't see me. You don't have a pathing line of sight. And then I get to the exit. And there's nothing else scary going on here. Yep, got it. Great. I like it when there's an easy puzzle after a hard puzzle. Okay, basement 216. Uh, there are seven of these. This feels almost exactly like one I had before. And so the num uh, there might have been a tile in here, though. Um, the number of followers that I would have would have to be too long to do this, so I'm going to have to use my wand. And it feels like I want to use my wand to take out some cornerish tile and place it here so that I will be able to walk in a loop. And that's the essence of it. So why not pick this up, put it down here, and then count how many more followers I need to gain. The answer appears to be four, and then try to gain four followers. You know what, I can gain five, that should be fine. So I've gained five followers, and now all the pressure plates are held. Great. Okay. Um, oh, I remember this puzzle. <laughs> or probably a variant of this puzzle. And this one was difficult. I need to kill both hands. There are two possible ways to kill the hands. No, way number one, push a Dark Idol statue into the hand. Way number two, push a Dark Idol statue onto a danger tile that's adjacent to a danger tile that the hand is sitting on, but neither the hands are sitting on danger tiles, therefore that is not a way. So there is only one way. It is to push a danger tile onto the statue. Sorry, push a statue, <laughs> Dark Idol statue, onto the hand. And there's a whole lot of glass. And so gaining access to non-glass and non-following, non-follower gaining tiles is going to be difficult. And I think you're sitting on glass. You are sitting on glass. So I have the essence of the challenges laid out in my brain. And already the puzzle is impossible. How could I do any of this without gaining a follower? So maybe pushing you right at the outset was already the wrong move. Let's work under that assumption for just a moment. It looks like I need to move one of these three to get to these good tiles. I don't think that's possible. I can pick it up, sure. But is there anywhere I can put it down? I mean, I could put it down here, but now I'm trapped into getting a follower. I could put it down here. But now I'm trapped in more steps, but yes. So that also doesn't work. I can't go here. I can't go. Uh, could I pick this up? Or this up? I don't see a way. Can I pick this up and use it usefully somewhere? Probably, but where? I could use it here, for example. Where it's not as valuable as I thought it was going to be. But I feel like there's something in that vicinity. So suppose I push down here and put it here. This might be more valuable somehow. Because it enables me to pick up a piece of actual flooring. 
Okay. Um, we're going to call that our first success of the day. I put it down as well. That's a second success. Still not sure that I have enough to get out of here. I could move this slightly, but I don't have any good flooring to put over there. But yeah, we got close with that. So could I have done things a little bit differently? There was a piece of glass I didn't utilize yet. So suppose instead... Uh, I already did something wrong. Hold on. Don't mind me. Just taking a casual death to reset the puzzle. Pick this up. Put it down. Is there any way that I could step across differently to... Like, it feels like that's what I need to do to pick up a good tile. I suppose while I'm here, I could push you out of the way. Does that help? Uh, still no, I can't get my hands on another good tile, so I feel like I kind of wasted that glass. Well, this might end up being another one. Now, what happens if I do this? Now, where could I put this glass, or this down that's useful to me? I could put it down here, which enables me to pick this up. Which enables me to pick this up. I have to think about this for a second. Could also push the statue again. Suppose I push the statue again. Now I've got access to this. That seems pretty powerful. I think I might have just broken it open. Worried that from here things are going to go long, but I feel good about the start that we have. So let's continue with it. Let's start getting some of the more dangerous tiles out of the way. And get the less dangerous tiles and more useful tiles in my possession. Okay, so I have a bunch of good tiles. I can step across this one once, but for now, let's just get it out of the way. I've got all the good tiles in my possession. And it feels like I have enough that I could kill a statue. There's one down. Now let's go... I'm going to need this in order to push to the south. So I need to get some land to push the statue back onto. And then I can push it back to the south. And then in theory I can pick up all of these tiles just to the north of it. And use them to start building further back down to the south. And then I can push this guy south again. Yeah, this feels like this is working. Okay, this is, this is not so bad. And now can I not just push this guy two more to the south and the puzzle is solved? That feels good to me. All right, I've done a thing. They call me the thing doer. Basement 218. I feel like I'm really close and I'm tempted to push forward, but I've also had some puzzles that have taken forever today. So I think this is probably the correct position to say i hope as always that you all are having a great day and i will see you next time where i will expect that we get to basement 222 which i think is the basement that then would skip us to 224 and we would see some kind of ending resolution and 222 or 221 like has another birch tree for a final memory and yeah i expect something exciting is going to happen in the next episode so look forward to that i hope as always you guys are having a great day and i'll see you again soon bye bye